Hello and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to import Google Calendar events to Airtable using Data Fetcher. So Google Calendar is a cloud-based time management and scheduling calendar. As you can see here, it's available for free and it provides an easy way to share calendars and events with others. So today we are going to begin in our Airtable base, nice and simple, and we are going to add the extension. So if you go up to the right hand corner, you'll see this in the menu bar and then select add an extension down below so that we can search for data fetcher here in the search bar. Really nice and simple. Here you are. Once you type it, it should pop up. Click the add button and then select add extension. Fantastic. So now you will be prompted to either create a free data fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. The following page will appear and this is where you can import your data simply by selecting the big blue button, create your first request. And we are going to title this request fetch Google Calendar events. So as soon as you have that built in, you can search for the application, which we're going to search Google Calendar, nice and simple. That should appear like that, select it, and then we'll need to add a new Google Calendar connection under the authorization. So if you select again the big blue button, this will bring you to the following screen where you can choose which Google account you would like to sign into. Once you sign in, it will ask for a data fetcher to have access to view the events on your calendar. So select yes and select also see and download any calendar you can access using your Google Calendar. Select continue down at the bottom so that you can connect your data fetcher to your Airtable with your Google Calendar and then simply select save and continue once you see that the status is connected. Fantastic. So now we'll be brought to the following screen where you can select your calendar. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and select my tech conferences calendar. And then for the start date, we want to select the date that we want the data to start collecting from. So all of the events after this date, I'm going with the 1st of September 2022 and selecting OK. And for the end date, I'm going to choose the 31st of October 2022. Then I'm going to select OK, and this will import all of the data of these events that happened between these two dates. So again, this will be your own preference. Then for the output table and view, we do want to have this selected as table one and grid view, but if you have different titles for your tables, that will appear differently as well. So now we're going to go ahead and select save and run in the bottom right hand corner and select continue. Now the response field mapping should open up and this is where you can select all of the fields that you would like to have imported into your Airtable base. So when we arrive here, we can either turn these little toggles from green to gray to switch them on and off, or you can select filter all to turn them all off so that you can have a fresh start. Then we're gonna go ahead and use the find field bar here to search for the fields that you want to import. So from here, we are going to import the following fields, ID, fantastic, name, that's already here, start time, end time, and also URL and status. But if we were to search for this, that would pop right up like so. Nice. Then if you'd like to go see which options you've chosen, you can close that over and you can now see whether these are directed to a new field that will be created specifically for this. Or, for example, with the name, which I would like to have, but it has already done this automatically, I'd like the name to direct to an existing field that is titled name already from the default settings in the Airtable base. As you can see, everything else here makes sense. For the ID, it is really important that you do include this, as this is what will ensure that all of our data is syncing properly. So once you have these selected and you have them directing to whichever fields you would like them to direct to, you can select save and run in the bottom right hand corner and this will now create those fields which you can see. Select show output table, then we'll arrive to the page where we can close over that extensions option so we can see that all of that data has been imported into our Airtable base. 
So now we do need to open up that extensions option again because we want to ensure that data fetcher will match up the data from our Google Calendar events with our records in Airtable. So we need to open up the extensions bar back where we found it before and this will automatically open up your data fetcher. I didn't even need to click anything here and you can find that request that you created earlier with all of those settings that you had already made in there. Now from here we are going to go to the advanced settings so we're going to scroll down until you see this advanced settings option. Open that out and here we're looking for the update based on field. This is where we want to indicate that ID field, that really important field that I mentioned earlier. And so we can use this unique field to make sure that our records are being synchronized. After we do this, you can select save in the bottom right hand corner. And now we're going to go ahead and schedule this. So this is an amazing option that allows all of your data to be synchronized between Airtable and your Google Calendar without you having to do a thing. And so if you scroll up slightly, this is also under the settings, you'll see this schedule option. This will only appear to you if you have already paid for an upgraded data fetcher account. So if you haven't yet done this, this will look a little bit different, but I really recommend that you do so that you don't have to keep coming in and manually update the records. Instead, we're going to add our API key here, select that add API key, and then you can go ahead and click on this button that you're being prompted to click on, and that will bring you to your Airtable account overview. This is where you can generate your API key for your Airtable account, and you can copy this over and paste it back into the input box. Great, so once you've done that, you can select save, and you will see that this automatically schedules this request. Then you can choose how often you would like for this request to be scheduled. So if you want it every hour, day, week, month, or minutes, you can choose that from these drop down menus. And you can also choose which days it synchronizes up on. Then we're going to go ahead and select save in the bottom right hand corner and we can close this window over. So it really is that simple, and hopefully today you have learned how to import Google Calendar events to Airtable, but if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to us here at datafetcher.com, where we also have a full-length blog on this exact topic with all of the details here, if you would rather follow the instructions this way. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.